Welcome everybody and welcome back to the stream. My name is Peppo and today is the final day. I mean not the final day, it's actually the start. The start of my special training for Monster Hunter Wilds. Yes, we still don't have a date uh, for a potential demo or the release of the game. But as you guys already know, I'm gonna go to Gamescom this year in 10-11 uh, days. Well, we can almost, almost say 10 days. Um, so, I'm gonna try the demo out for sure. I will most likely test Longsword, of course, play with Longsword, and see all the new stuff that they added. We still haven't got the, um, the Longsword overview, unfortunately, video. It's gonna probably come up the end, because Longsword is one of the most popular weapons in the Monster Hunter series. So they are probably gonna play that card near the end, so that most of the people are gonna be, you know, just waiting patiently for the longsword overview. But yeah, with that being said, um, hello guys, so welcome to the stream, hello to Yoga and Mr. Nobby, how you guys doing? Seventy six hours, Hunter rank ninety eight. We are two Hunter ranks away to get the. Hunter rank 100, getting the last optional quest, complete it, and finish all the optional quests from Monster Hunter World. We also have, oh wow, 2 million? We have 2 million and 500 thousand and 300 zennies. Wow. How did I make so much money? <laughs> Crazy. Well, very nice. This is our set, our layered armor. I mean, no, it's not layered. Only the helm is layered. Uh, I still haven't decided if I want to keep this helm or if I want to change it. Probably want to change it. Um, but I don't have any layered armor except the pre-gate one. Like for the head. I have the Nergigante head, I don't know, it doesn't look that great, I guess. Maybe we can change the color. Black horns looks better, maybe? Even red would be cool. What about blue? Hmm. Maybe red? I mean, what about we got, what about we go all red? Like change all to red. How does that look? Looks pretty cool. What about black? Even black is not bad. I mean, white, nah. This red is nice. Hey, Itaku, welcome back. How you doing? Green. Green is cool. Purple. Pink. <laughs> nah, I don't think I'm gonna go with pink. Yellow. Like a more goldish. We have orange. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm gonna go with red. I, I prefer the red one. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, probably like this should be fine. There you go. Yeah, I think red is... You know, it catches the eye more, like, immediately. Okay, very nice. Um, the nourishing extract can be cultivated? I don't remember. No. Ah, uh, unlucky. Hey, Gaudi! Good evening to you. 
Good evening, everyone. So let me see how many vouchers I have. 21. Not that many. So let me delete the things that we don't need, like herbal medicine, it's not needed against against Beemoth. Uh, potions, same, we don't need potions. Rations, I don't think we need. Uh, new berry, we don't need new berries. Uh, cool drinks, maybe. Farcaster, maybe, I guess. Uh, flash pots, yes. Stir jerky, yes. Okay, I'm gonna keep it like this. Let's rename it as Behemoth. Hey, Imakoe, so welcome to the stream. I had a vision. Next Wild's weapon showcase will be Dual Blade. So, today we got Hunting Horn, right? So, next one should be. Um. Next one should be Lance. I would say it's either Lance or uh, let me think. Uh, what do we have? Light Bogan is missing. Charge Blade. Nah, I think I, I, I'm gonna go with Lance. After Hunting Gorn, we go with Lance. Yeah, Lancer will probably be at last because, of course, it's the most popular weapon and they they need to play that card well. Which means they're gonna put it near the end, if not at the end, to generate more, more hype, you know, more weight, more hype. Uh, okay, optional quest. A visitor from Eorzea. Another thing I wanted to get before I forget is Mega Demon Drag. Uh, I only have 12 nourishing extracts, but I think there is a way for me to get nourishing extract via Tail Raider Safari, maybe? I'm not sure. I don't remember which. Monster drops the nourishing, uh, the nourishing extract. But yeah, hello to Game Winner seventy eight. Welcome to the stream. Also, Djidas eleven. Welcome guys. Hey Jeremy. I wanna play every weapon so far. Yeah, I mean, I, I already s said that uh, both on my socials and I will repeat it here, repeat it here on on my stream. They are doing an amazing job because every time they are releasing a new weapon overview. They manage to make it look better than the previous one. Like, do we want to talk about the focus strikes? Like, the focus strikes so far are bangers for all the weapons. Insect Glaive, uh, Hunting Horn, like, the Hunting Horn is crazy. Um, the ones for um, the Gunlands, like the Drill, it's crazy. Like, they, they, they are are literally surpassing themselves. They are doing an amazing job. Oh, maybe the only one that didn't, um, that didn't like let me, uh, didn't um, uh, made me so crazy was the one for HPG. But I guess that's kind of hard to make, you know, a very cool animation for HPG focus strike. But yeah, that's pretty much the only one that I think was a little bit, um, like, mm, not that great compared to the others. But, like, uh, any other weapon has has got immense, amazing focus strikes. Without talking, of course, like, uh, about other attacks, like the mounting attacks, mounting finishers. We saw um, a new moves that they simply added. So, really, really good job.
Okay, this time we use Mega Demon Drag. Because, I mean, we have 35 Mega Demon Drags. I think it's about fair. We start consuming them. I'm late, I know, but I'll try anyway. Ugh. He's not gonna flinch. Yep. Oh, well, into tornado. He wanted to go enraged. He doesn't go enraged. Not enraged? Wow, crazy. Ouch. Now rage. Wait, what? Did he skip the rage? Excuse me? He, his eye on the map was always yellow. He never turned red. Hmm. I'm a bit confused. Too late. Nope. Whoa. Now this time you fall down. What? Oh, come on. Ah. Freaking rock covering. Okay, now he's only doing Shadibris. Not fun. Not fun, Bimot. Not fun.
Okay. Oh, that was a little bit too early. We need to sharpen every time because I do have Master Touch, but I don't have 100% affinity every time. Ah. Is he tired? Yeah, he is, right? No, he's not. Oh no! Come on. It happened again. What? Ouch. Oh shit. No! Oh come on, are you serious? Are you serious now? Like, <laughs> this is the kind of stuff that I hate about Behemoth. Like, that was an opening? He light flinched on the leg, on the foreleg, so he basically um, cancelled the anime, cancelled the the opening that I had, and by cancelling that, he like just did another attack. <laughs> like what? <laughs> Seriously? Ah, uh, that's unfair. Hey Subuki, welcome to the stream. Uh, we just started with Beemoth. I wanna get the head. I wanna get the aggro. Whoa. No! You see? Like, everything that can go wrong, can go wrong. It's going wrong. Like, that's an opening after he does the... this attack. But... 
it's not an opening anymore simply because he I don't know flinches or he roars <laughs> No rocks. Your English has improved, thank you very much. I'm trying my best to learn it as deeply as possible. And at the same time, trying to be more fluent. So, really appreciate it. I hope we'll get new Fant Final Fantasy collab in Wilds. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Who knows? Another Beemoth? Huh? There you go. Let's go on the head, I guess. Maybe we get the aggro. What? Did you see that? He raised the head immediately to avoid my Helmbreaker and we got the chest. That's crazy. That's freaking crazy. This monster is crazy. <laughs> nah. Oh well. Again? Oh! He. Wow. He hit me with. with the chin. It's time. It's time to mount him. There you go. Finisher inside the wall. <laughs> they should make. What the hell? Oh wow, we got the chest. Oh my goodness, this stupid ass position. <sighs> what am I supposed to do? He's attacking the wall. 
Hey, it's Zoolander CZ. Welcome to the stream. Yes, you can dodge the Eclipse with the jump emote. Huh? Okay. Opening. You got pretty unlucky in this run. Oh, wow. I wanted to use the ledge, you know? Ah, this attack. This attack is so bad. He's so bad and he's spamming it. I hate when he spams that attack. That attack is completely useless. It's funny because like half of the time I can't see shit because of the camera clipping through the wall. <laughs> or like obstacles. That that Nah. What? Did you see that? The Helmbreaker's hitbox? Not... Like, not not arriving immediately, but like after a little bit of delay, so that he could, he could um, cast the tornado. <laughs> what? Everything that is not supposed to happen is happening in this one. Please flinch. Ah, uh, thanks God. Oh, finally. This last area was painful. Painful. <laughs> Bouncing on white is so bad. Yeah, I mean, that's not a problem. The problem is that the monster is huge. And the area is more. I think that's the main problem. Like when the I I really hate when monsters are like fighting near the walls. Like it's really annoying from a gameplay perspective because like you can't see well with the camera because you know when you are close to a wall, the camera uh, like your character gets really close to your camera, and you you can't see properly. Then the monster is like giant gigantic and you can see exactly what he's doing because like you're under him he's covering some part of your screen with with the arms or i don't know with parts of the body and so it it gets extremely complicated just because the, the map is small where you are fighting if it was like i don't know a desert for example like the one from wilds okay let's put a bmod on in that area that would be like a dream <laughs> Poison code, as always. Resistor. Attack jewel. Wow, this is the third attack jewel that we get. Elementless brace. Hey Jack, ci sono tanti modi. Io personalmente ascolto il suono. Quando senti il suono dell'ecliptic che sta per scendere, fa un suono specifico, salti. This is normal Beemoth, right? Yeah, this is normal Beemoth because this is a uh, base word and I don't have access to event quests, unfortunately. Uh, because it's an older version of the game and you cannot access online features. Uh, 
Ah, uh, wait. I saved the wrong one. I need one of these. Actually, wait. Let me put it here. One B mod. Okay, let's save it. <laughs> hey, Dune. <laughs> Real Peppo, it's me. <laughs> How you doing, man? <laughs> Let's keep going. Ah, uh, no investigation. It's Friday? Yeah, it's Friday. Tomorrow is Saturday. So it's more than good. Ah, that's why. Because weekend. What do you think of the hunting horn moveset, Peppo? So I'm not an hunting horn player, of course. But every time I'm seeing a new uh, weapon overview, it gets me so hype, even though I'm not playing the weapon. Which is crazy, like it means that they are really doing an amazing job. The focus strike from hunting horn is just insane. Oh, let's go. Please flinch, 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 please. Ah. Oh. Thanks, goodness. But I don't have time to land another handbreaker, unfortunately. But now it's about time you go under the boulders. Wait, what? Oh, come on. I want to get that other one. No, he's too far. Ah, I thought he wanted to leave already. Well, let's go on the tail, I guess. <laughs> I was just saying he's a he should leave and there you go mm, let me use a flash but Oh, I don't have the demon. Whoops. Are you really there? Another one?
Ha! Ouch. Oh my goodness, again? I think I'm gonna get a part break. No? Not yet. Can you step away from those tornadoes? Oh man. on the head so hopefully he stops with these tornadoes okay that was close I didn't think I could pass through those tornadoes. <laughs> ah. Whoops. No, fuck! I got the chest. Uh. He? Oh well. I'm cooked. Okay, now I should be safe, maybe? Yeah, I'm safe. Because he wasn't enraged. Lucky. What? I don't want the aggro in this area, it's bad. Oh, another exhaust animation. Roar. Of course. This area is also bad because there are fully of slopes and you never know where to go exactly. And another one. Ah, I dropped a blue gauge. Ah, blue sharpness, not blue gauge. 
Uh. Oof, what was that? Please just leave. No rocks, as always. Are the rewards worth from him? I mean, you do get str no, you don't get streams. You only get decorations, but you can get many decorations from him. But I'm not doing it from the rewards, to be honest. I'm just doing it because it's the the most challenging quest in base world. If you don't have the event. Yeah, today is just Bimo Day. sharpen wow that didn't sharpen that didn't sharpen are you crazy how is that possible uh, I mean I don't have openings I don't have openings like <laughs> there are no openings I cannot get the 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 enmity Otherwise, I don't have openings. I need to maintain him like this, so at least every time he's casting a ch Chadi Breeze, I I can land a Helmbreaker. Blue sharpness. Oh man. Can't see shit. I'm gonna die. Ooh. That was really close. Yeah, now he's gonna cast a child debris. Fine. No? Oh, now he's gonna cast a child debris. No? What the fuck? 
No? Oh, it's already... Oh well. I thought that was much longer. Uh, I hate when I drop to blue sharpness. Against normal Beemoth you never wanna get the enmity basically, because otherwise you don't have openings. While if you play the extreme Beemoth in the last in the last area, you're kinda forced to to take the enmity. Because otherwise you're not gonna be able to fight as he literally spams tornadoes. Uh, but at least you do have the opening after um, the punch and smash that that tricky tricky move that he has why wards before iceborne because i like more the gameplay in war base war game i am not a huge fan of the clutch glow and everything that came with it like the tenderizing mechanic and the cluggers etc sharp jewel Second one. <coughs> <coughs> we are 99. Really close to that 100. Mm. Ah, I wish I had my. My old tarot fire, or even better for Beemoth, I think it was the Jar Decay, because it has like it had 15% affinity, so you had like 100% without maximum mind, which was crazy good. You basically never went in uh, in blue sharpness because you were crit 100% of the time. I wish I could get the Jar Decay. See you in Germany? What do you mean, dude? What do you mean by that? I told you his final phase is always in the ground uh, in, in the underground? No. It depends if you get double part break in phase two or if you don't. If you get double part break, I mean part break on the leg on the legs, on the four legs. Then uh, he will go in the lava area, while if you... Oh shit. While if you don't get the double break, which I usually don't, he will go to Nergigante's nest. Very nice. And I was too early. <laughs> what am I doing? I was definitely too early. <laughs> yeah, I hate this move. This move is so ass, man. Charge breeze? No, not yet. Now he's gonna do the charge breeze. Right? No? Okay, this time we got both of the boulders, so 
nice start. We also have almost all the white sharpness. So got Gajalakas, wow. What? That didn't hit anything? My spirit round slash? I hate the hitbox on spirit round slash. It's so stupidly small. And I don't understand why. Ah, too fast. What? Wow, we got the hat. I don't even know how I got the hat. But we got the hat. No! Fuck, 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 fuck! I can't move! Ah. I hate when that happens. The Aladron cheating woman lady streaming? What? Who is she? Cheating woman lady? What are you talking about? <laughs> ah shit, I got com I got distracted. That was actually a good start. Hey, Zuki! Ouch. No, 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 fuck! Ah! I hate when I cannot go through the monster as he's body blocking me. That was really close. He started. Very nice. The Alatron blindfold faker. No! Uh, I can't read the chat and play at the same time. Yeah, I can't. I can't. Like, Tremor is gonna land, he's gonna stay for like 10 seconds on that move. 10 seconds of tremor <laughs> and can can't do shit about the tremor you get the tremor you're dead Hey, this move, did I say that already? Mm. 
no openings. Blocked me with his chest. <laughs> nah, come on. Stop doing that. I really hope like Wild's monster are not gonna have that moonwalk. But I'm scared they are gonna have it. Because they need to reposition. An infinite amount of times. <laughs> Can't read the chat while hunting behemoths solo purely based on your hearing. <laughs> yeah, it's hard, man. Like I'm not a stream. I'm not used to stream, and hunt at the same time. At least not hunt like, um, you know, difficult fights. Because of course, if, if I'm hunting like great jagras, I don't even care. I can all just read the chat. But like against behemoth, you actually need to focus. No. What? Come on, seriously? Dodging my spirit round slash like that? That should be illegal. That was really close. Oh wow. Stop dodging my attacks! Bro, what the hell? Really? No reaction to that damage? Wow. Spirit round flash working as intended as always. Ouch. Don't 
don't go inside that. Okay. Please turn, 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 nice. Okay, this is getting chaotic. This is getting chaotic. Stop it with this move, please. I'm begging you. Ah, uh, okay. Finish. Finish in the middle of all these tornadoes. <laughs> oh my goodness. First time seeing Peppo getting mad? No. When, when I'm playing, when, like, when I'm trying hard things in Monster Hunter, I'm always getting mad. But, like... I'm not that serious, it's simply that I'm frustra frustrating because ha like things happen that shouldn't happen and that's why I'm feeling like that. <laughs> that's the thing, like for example when, I, when I'm fighting in the middle of like five tornadoes that's annoying because like some tornadoes he shouldn't have cast them because I could have done like the Helmbreaker and stagger him on the, on the foreleg but I couldn't land the, the, the spirit trust, and so he did this the tornado. It's all like a consequence. Isn't Bimut like a Jagras for you by now? Well, not exactly. <laughs> A great Jagras that lasts 13 minutes? Nah. <sighs> okay.
What? Wow. I feel robbed. I feel robbed. <laughs> Mad Peppa is basically the main expansion. <laughs> what? <laughs> Ah, oh, there you go. No, don't go there. Turn, 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 turn. Nice. Yeah, but not like this. <laughs> Flinch. Thank you. Please turn. Turn. Turn, 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 turn. Don't stay with your freaking leg inside the tornado. Shit, 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 shit. Oof. I was really close, guys. I was really close. No! Ah. No! What? How did I get the chest? That's not true! I did not get the chest, I swear, that wasn't the chest. What is this hitbox? No, that's... <laughs> that's not fair, come on. That wasn't, that's not the chest. That's not the chest. <laughs> and I still keep hitting the fucking chest all the time. The chest. Okay. I don't want to get the chest. Okay, I got the arm. Very nice.
Yeah, of course. Twice in a row. And I'm dead. No, I'm not. Almost dead. What a combo. He's trying to combo one with me. Trying your best. Not enough to kill me. Spirit round slash, of course. As always, the best move. Seriously? I don't have stamina, bro. Can't even hit him. <laughs> oh, wow. Another one. Nah, it's not that tight to be honest. I think you have like about about a second, I would say, the window. It's not that tight. I swear I did the force slash. Yeah, okay, you wanna fight here? Fuck. Oof, I was really close. I really hate this position because of the stalactites falling from the sky, from the roof. Move from there, move away from there, please, please move away. Move away, Bmod. Move away. Okay.
don't have time to dodge. What? Stramor? Seriously? Wow. <laughs> the moonwalk? The East End one frame moonwalk? From Michael Jackson? Imagine if you like if the monster could dismantle you by just going inside a tornado. <laughs> that would be a super huge L. <laughs> Took damage from something. Ah, probably from the thorns on the ground. Hey, thanks. I decided to um, to color it in red because I mean the other colors weren't that much expiring. I don't know. I tried yellow to resemble the gold color, but it wasn't that great. I had it white. White, I think, is good, but with the head, wasn't that great. Probably, I I, I should. Oh, we got Hunter rank 100, let's go. Probably we should have like keep it in white, just change the head, but I didn't know which color to get on the head. And there you go, the final quest of Monster Hunter World. So. The Sapphire Star's Guidance. Kushala, Teostra, Nerd Gigante. Old Tempered. Finally. Do you use a mod for playing base war without Iceborne? No, I don't think um, a mod exists to play an old version of the game. You simply have to, you know, reinstall the old version of the game. Like, it's not a mod. It's like you delete your current game and you install another one. That's how it works. It's like, there is a library on Steam. It's called Steam Database where all the game versions uh, all the old the old game versions are there basically registered and you can go there and choose which one to install and that's it like it's not a mod you don't need like a a third party software to do that 
It's literally just Steam, you go there, you install your game, and that's it. And yeah, I had to restart from the very beginning because I didn't have a save um, on Base World. As last time I played Base World was in 2018 and I did it on my PS4. Which I don't have it anymore. I wonder what our fleet will be called in Wild Six Battalion? Six Counts? <laughs> Maybe. There you go, this this one should be the last quest that we are missing, hopefully. Yeah, if you type exclamation mark version, I made the comad exactly because of that. People can find a video who made uh, Femero, a friend of mine, a YouTuber and streamer, and he made a very quick tutorial for people who are not used to, you know, they didn't know how to do these kind of things. Uh, it's really easy to like just look at the video, follow what he's saying, and you'll be able to install it as well. So here we are gonna use normal elder, I would say. Wait, actually, actually we can use the one for B mod because we have the Mega Demon drug, which I guess we can simply waste. Ah, oh, wait, let me check the mantles. Against Kushala, I'd like to have Rocksteady Mantle, I would say. Yeah, Rocksteady should be should be enough. And for the Ostra, I think I'm gonna use Impact Mantle. Yeah, you're welcome. I bet you'll finish this quest in less than 10 minutes. Uh, I depends on the spawn, cause I remember there was a huge delay between the monsters in this quest. Like you need to wait two, three minutes before the other monster spawn, which is just crazy. And then if Kushala starts like that, that's not a good sign. Stop turning. Okay, there you go. I think he's gonna spawn like in two minutes and fifteen. So I guess in the meantime, I'm just gonna I don't know mine some some ore. I hope Kushal gets more love in wilds. I mean, not as long as they don't make it annoying as they did in Monster Hunter now.
Hey Banshee Nix, thank you so much for the double raid. Yo, double raid? Crazy. <laughs> Welcome everybody. Yo, I, I, this is my first time getting a double raid. <laughs> thank you very much. How you doing? I, I, I know that you were doing a stream together. How did it go? Did you have fun? What did you do? Open lobby? Yes. Is there any mod online? Wait, I don't have any mod. But since we are just waiting, let me give you a shout out. Thank you very much. Shout out to Banshee. Make sure to check her out, guys. And also my friend Nix. I think you already know her. They both stream Monster Hunter. They were doing open lobby <laughs> together today. Was mega fun. What did you do? Which monsters? Fatalis? Super fun. We did open lobbies. Uh, I hope you're not. You, you didn't just do Fatalis over and over. <laughs> okay, the Ulster is coming. What mods are you using? What, what is happening today, guys? Why is everybody so fixating with mods? I'm not using any mod. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Nice. Ah, that didn't work. Whoops. There you go. One, two, three. I think it was three. I don't remember the timing. No, please, please, please. Ah, we got the lag. Fuck, I didn't remember the timing on this one. What? Did you just miss me? Oh shit. Yeah, I knew it. Ah, uh, hell no. Ouch. Very nice. Argo used HPG again, it was glorious. What? Did I fail that Unbreaker? Come on. Nah. Ouch. I'm playing really poorly now. I really hate Blast the Ostra. His moveset is so dirty, so nasty. With all those blast explosions. Like the Neko Punch followed by the Neko the the blast explosion. You can't force a slash that. If you force a slash that you're there you're gonna get hit. Are you using Aka BG Destructiva? <laughs> yeah, almost. <laughs> I uh, I see you're learning learning Italian, Gaudium. <laughs> uh, sorry, Banshee. <laughs> nice. Well, what? He was dead? Come on, you could die before leaving. You just waste time. You just waste so much time. Look at her learning Italian too. <laughs> Good luck with that. I mean, Italian is not an easy language. It's easier than others, let's be honest. I mean, I don't know about that. 
Like, if you want to really learn Italian, like, with the grammar rules, I don't think it's that easy, to be honest. <laughs> Especially from French-speaking people. Never studied French, so no idea. But tell me, like, I, I know I know some grammar rules of German, and I can tell you that Italian is at that kind of level. Especially because, like, okay, we don't have, like, the cases, but, uh, like, we have so many articles, and you need to learn if a noun is, like, um, like, like the gender of the noun, female, male, you know. It's like in German, but... I mean, we have way more articles. That's the tricky part. But yeah, just not that. Of course, also like verb conjugation. Verb conjugation in Italian is so painful. And I'm Italian, I, I'm telling you that. Like even native speaker, it's like Italian native speaker uh, get get it wrong. Some verbs. Der, die, das, wir, ihr, sie. <laughs> Bro, I still have nightmares when I think about my German class in the in middle school. Ah, I didn't change mantle. I forgot. Nominative, accusative, dative. <laughs> genitive. Wait, even genitive? Really? I didn't remember that in German. Wait, you also have genitive? Come on. I thought that was only in Latin. <laughs> Stay down, Nergigante. Monster Hunter this These other dragons are uh, have like 1k HP each in this quest Yes, we have the joke is that none uses <laughs> Really <laughs> Well, then I don't feel so bad too uh, Because I didn't know that Oh, so many research commission tickets. We even got a gem from Dora. Wow. Which we don't need. So, what now, Commander? The Elder Dragons were supposed to be the pinnacle of this continent's natural world. But you rose above them, like a star to the heavens. You created your own light instead of following others. 
The guild would like to honor your deeds with a special title. Henceforth, you shall be known as the Sapphire Star. I believe now that calling you here to the new war will end up being the greatest achievement. I salute you, Sapphire Star. Okay. <laughs> I'm considering more and more doing some chess streams until games come with the French guys. I mean, um, why not? Let's do it. I could commentate. I'd like to commentate on your games. <laughs> I guess many people don't know that I play chess. As a hobby. <laughs> Yabakunai? So do I have to, to speak to all of these guys? Yeah, it's me, it's the Sapphire Star. Do you wanna sign? Come on. He says as a hobby, but he's literally mega brained at chess. No. It's simply because you are a beginner, Nix. Don't confuse the two things. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I aren't you a beginner? I it's not an offense, you know. <laughs> Everybody was a beginner initially. I also was a beginner. It's unfortunate that we cannot get uh what is it called the um, the nourishing extract to craft more more mega demon drag because I think I only have around 30 of them. At least he didn't say lack of skill. <laughs> I mean, like, when we are talking about chess, it's not like lack of skill, it's more like lack of experience, I would say, knowledge, maybe, memory, at a higher level, but... I don't know, I don't know, skill? <laughs> Play something. <laughs> wow. That really, that really trigger you. That play something. Ah, <laughs> oh, let's go, look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all completed. Very cool. And it only took about 80 hours. And I'm not even done with the game, like, because if you want to get all the achievements in this game, you should get all the trophies, so... Uh, I think I'm still missing, like, the crowns and other things. Actually, let me... Let me give a look. So let's see our guild card after 80 hours of play. Uh, this is our build. Low rank 47 quests, high rank 114. Investigations 213, wow. Almost double the high rank quest. We have almost, we have 19 arena quests that we have to do because uh, we had to get the um, Supremacy Blade and the Divine Slasher. I go AFK but stay on Lurk, have fun Longsword people and Peppo, yeah, have fun Nyx. Um, we have 377 uses with Longsword, nice. Uh, 
Um, then let's see, we have the... Okay, we use the Polymute for the Coral Acrystra and the Plunder Blade. Makes sense. Tail Raiders, I have Gajalaka level 3. I think level 5 was the highest level. Yeah, like, as you can see, we are still missing so many achievements, but I'm not planning to get them. Simply because, like, I don't, I don't care. But, like, that is to demonstrate the, the fact that this game, in 80 hours, you still have to do plenty of, of stuff. So it's crazy. Like, how much was bo Base World, like, when it got released? 60 bucks was, I think, on Steam? Like, with 60 bucks, you have, like, I don't know, 100 and... 50 hours just playing it normally completing everything getting all the trophies so yeah this is for the crowns which I'm not never gonna get hunt 500 large monsters wow uh, SOS flare okay I cannot do this one because there is no online feature unfortunately yeah this one as well this one as well this one as well, <laughs> this one as well, so basically this is just for um, multiplayer things, these five trophies, these large monsters, monster PhD, research everything about almost every monster, yeah, we are missing this one, which we could technically complete, but I'm not that interesting, uh, 50 arena quests, we are just at 19, so it would take too much, Cook your first well done stick. Wow, we didn't we didn't get this one. Crazy. And then Conqueror of the New World. Uh, here there are two and rare endemic life, which I don't remember which one are. One is the blackbird. Uh, which is like on the back of the moss wine. But I'm not sure about this one. What was it? Was it like the Hercodrome? Like the the Rainbow Hercodrome or something like that? 50 plus hours for all the achievements? Nah, I think you need much more. Like, how can you get all the, the crowns in 50 hours? I don't think that's possible. Also Arena Quest, 500 large monsters. Nah, that's gonna take more than 50 hours. I think more than 100 even. Yeah, pretty sure more than 100. I would say 125. Around. You also played it with your experience. An average player or beginner would take way more than 80 hours to get there. Yeah, I mean, that's also true. But it's also true that I completed everything without rushing. Um... I farmed a lot. I got all the longswords, which of course are not necessary to get. Because like longsword that I get that I, I will never use. Like I never use this one. Never use this one. This one. Uh, I used this one maybe uh, in low rank or at the beginning of high rank. I never use this one. Never. Never. Uh, yes, this I used it. Never, never used it in low rank, never, uh, yes I used it, I used it I think one or twice on Odugaron, never, 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 uh, Yes, I did it. Never and never. So, like, the great majority of longswords, I didn't even need to, to craft them, you know. So, only that, like, only if you consider that it's already quite some quite some hours spent. Getting crowns in wars is so ass. Yeah, especially if you don't have access to event quests. Because at least with event quests, you have those quests that can give you higher chances of getting the the crowns. While like these, you have to basically um, get the investigations that have three attempts with like two gold reward slots, I think. 
like that those um investigations have like higher chance of getting you a crown but yeah that that's basically the only way to to be able to get them what do you do now now we're gonna do another bmod of course Uh, I'm gonna change my um, layered armor. That's no white, I would say. But the head, I wanna change that. Black. Which color would be cool? And this one is not bad. Green. Probably this one, I think. Can you do a Unite stream? I'm pretty sure at some point I will do it in the future. But yeah, not, not planning to play it now. Oh, wait. I still have to talk to these guys. No! Just left. <laughs> yeah, I'll do as I please. Oh, what? I forgot to eat? Really? Ah, oh, man. Ah, I was too close. No way, are you kidding me? Bro. Uh, okay, you know what? Nah, I don't care. I don't like playing like this. Like, I wanna do a spirit trust, and the spirit trust cannot land because the monster is like levitating. Because the leg is like, I don't know. A, I don't even know how to explain that. Like, why was the foreleg uh, so high? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> why? Why Why was that high? Like, one meter above the ground. It's just dumb. 
Oh, let me talk to it. Like these are these are the kind of things that makes me hate the game. Why? Just why? Tell me why the monster has to do it like that. One leg on the ground, the other one, I don't know, levitating with, with the foreleg. <laughs> Not fun. What? He evaded that? Look at this. Look at this. Look at the foreleg. <laughs> Why? Why is he doing that? Why is he raising the foreleg like that? It's an unnatural position. <laughs> Stop doing that. It's not fun, Beemoth. It's not. Look at that! I get that was my bad. Bro. Completely normal. Completely normal my ass. I hope they are not gonna do that completely normally in wilds. Oh no, I have Rocksteady. What the hell? Ah. Yeah, I forgot to change mantle.
Wow, one hit. One hit. Can't believe it. Yeah, I know. Okay, let me go back to the camp. I need to get my temporal mantle. Ah. Okay, nice. Look at that, bro. Four hits. hits again Okay, 
Can he start? Very nice, hey Beppo, first time catching you live. Hey, welcome to the stream, Genesis. Which moves shortcut the spirit cloud slash combo? Ah, the force slash. Hello, first time here. Good luck for today. Thank you, Petit Pedestre. Pedestre, I don't know how you pronounce your name, but welcome to the stream and thanks for stopping by. Oh no, he's roaring. I don't like that. No, don't put me inside the tornado, you piece of shit. That was so close. Is there ever a time you want to roll instead of countering moves? Uh, not on the B mod. I mean here, I guess. Uh, but like on the extreme B mod, there is a sp special move where you don't want to counter. What? We didn't get anything. Ten seconds of tremor. To do that again, really close. Nah, I didn't want to get the enmity because now I don't don't have openings anymore. Basically, oh, okay, we are done. A 
At least you have pre-nerf temple, right? Yeah. In base ward, it was nerfed. In base ward, it worked like this. 60 seconds. 60? Or wait. No, 90 seconds. Wow. 90 seconds and yeah. For 90 seconds. Without any time reduction. Hey, hello, Leo Tegu. Welcome to the stream. Hey, Meliodas. How are you doing, man? Do you have a rough estimate of your playtime for the whole Most Center series? No. That's too hard. I've been playing Monster Hunter since I was 9 years old. I started in 2008 on Monster Hunter Freedom 2 on PSP. I played all the Monster Hunters except Generations Ultimate from the main series. I didn't play Frontier. I'm planning to though. Is that the, the is that jump the only way to dodge the meteor? Well, yeah, if there is no rock which you can cover behind, uh then that's the only thing you can do. Jumping. I'm good thinking about hopping back into ward. Yeah, you should. Hopping back into ward before Monster Hunter Wilds. Any reason why you haven't played uh, d Double Cross? It's because I'm not a big fan of styles, hunting styles. I didn't like I didn't like them in Generations, and yeah, I mean in Generations Ultimate they simply added another style, the Valor style, which is something I don't particularly like. I tried the demo. Uh, but I didn't like it. What are your wishes for Longsword moveset before they reveal it in the next few days? So, um, I'm seeing that many, many weapons are getting some moves from either Sunbreak or like Monster Hunter Frontier. That's the case, for example, with Gunlands, that they got two or three moves from Frontier, which is a lot. And also, uh, while Hunting One, for example, got some moves from Sunbreak. Um, I think Longsword is not going to receive many things from Sunbreak, because like in Sunbreak you had too many counters, like all the all the switch skills basically played around the counters mechanic so I don't think they are gonna give us that many counters as in Soundbreak, at least I hope um, my wish is that we are just gonna get the Ice Spirit Slash so I would I would remove Force Slash from the kit if that's possible because if the Ice Spirit Slash it's gonna level up the Spirit Gauge and some content creator who already watched um, gameplay on Wild said that yes, Free Slash will level up the gauge. Uh, it means that Force Slash will almost never gonna be used, like it was in Rise Sunbreak. So it doesn't really make sense to me to to have yes, Free Slash and Force Slash again, like together. Um, so they either don't make you level up the gauge if you use correctly Ice Priest Slash. And so Force Slash has a use. Otherwise it's useless and they would they should just remove it. Uh, but more in general I think we are gonna get some moves from Frontier, I think. Uh, and even if they are not like one on one from Frontier, I think we are still gonna get something inspired by that. Like the focus strike that we see that one short clip in the um, focus mode um, video explanation that they released, I don't know, like five days ago. Um, 
I think that move is kind of ins like if after those two hits, uh, it's actually what I think it happens. Like we are gonna get a series of hits triggering in that point where you landed those two hits. It's a sort of like the um, the move that you have in front here, uh, where like you perform three attacks rapidly going backwards and then it explodes with super high damage. I don't know what the, the, the name of that attack is because I never played Frontier but I watched some speedruns and it looks extremely cool. I think I'm, they're gonna take inspiration from that. So yeah, um, but yeah my wishes are that we are not gonna get um, a longsword which focuses too much on counters, but rather on dealing damage without relying relying too much on counters. So, buff spirit combo, give us new attacks, but like stop adding new counters because we don't really need them. That was so close. <laughs> that was so close, man. Come on, I don't want to get hit the head. And I keep, I keep hitting the head.
Greetings, how's hunting been for you? I uh, can't complain. Beamot is behaving pretty good so far. So I'm not gonna complain. But probably I'm gonna start doing that really soon. <laughs> Oh, that was really close. Yeah, we got three hits. Ouch. like this position. the latest wild so no my goodness when he flinches on that attack I'm sorry if I can't read the messages in chat but it's really hard to do that with Bimot trying to kill me Come on. Stop doing this attack. I hate that. De trapezio. Il trapezio del Bimot non può entrare. Okay, now I'm gonna read your message. Sorry. Seeing the latest Wilds weapon showcase released? Yeah, of course. I'm watching every day the new weapon overview that is coming out. Of course, I'm watching them. Today they showed off Hunting Horn. Yeah. And as a Hunting Horn main, I'm so happy with how well they have traded Horn. It looks great. Yeah, I have to say, um, it looks really great. Especially that Focus Strike. With, like, that solo play and at the end that bang <laughs> like with a little jump that was so cinematic so crazy so good uh but yeah also like the parry at the end i don't know if that likes a parry or something similar not sure what is that Oh, that didn't hit. Nice. 
No, I don't want to mount. Oh, come on. Seriously? So close. So close. Now don't push me toward the tornado. turn not inside the tornado oh final Earth Scepter to Guitar Solo is so sick, yeah. It's crazy, it's really, it looks really amazing. More in general, like, all the weapons so far, all of them have, like, a unique and so, like, cinematic and cool focus strike. Like, Inset Glaive... Hunting Gorn, Gunlance, the Gunlance that has the, um, the, what is it called, um, um, the drill, like the drill animation, really cool. Insect Lave that has like the, I don't know if that like, if that's like the mount finisher or another kind of attack, the dance pole attack. <laughs> hey, Monster Hunter Ward Daniel, thank you very much. For the raid and welcome guys. Welcome to the stream. My name is Peppel. I stream Monster Hunter with Longsword. If you don't know me, um yeah, I'm a Longsword content creator, speedrunner sometimes. In, like in the recent past, I'm not doing so many speedruns. I'm just doing some content with Longsword. Uh, I do challenges, full playthrough, and other kind of related stuff with Longsword in the Monster Hunter series. I don't play only Monster Hunter, I play like Monster Hunter Ward or Iceborne or Rise or Sunbreak. I also played sometimes older generations. I really like second generation, but I also play third generation. Um, yeah, and sometimes I also play other games. Um, most of the time, action RPGs. Welcome everybody in the stream. Buonasera, buonasera. Ah, ma sei italiano, eh, dimmelo. <laughs> Aspetta che... Shout out to Monster Hunter World Daniel.
Freedom Unite is good hunting memories, yeah. So we are doing a little bit of BMOD practice now. Because BMOD is fun. No, it's not because BMOD is fun, but it's most challenging quest in most challenging monster in base world. So and since there is nothing else to do. I decided to practice on him a little bit. Like the old good days. Bimot is fun when he behaves. When he doesn't, it's not fun. How is it going with the hunts? Yeah, as I said, can't complain. Uh, we did, I think, five, maybe six beam of already. We are getting the hang of it. The usual stuff. Ah, shit, I didn't have time. Got it. I was lucky. I was really lucky, actually. <laughs> no, that wasn't lucky at all. There you go, I like people still doing Bimoth with high rank builds. No, this is uh, Monster Hunter World without Iceborne, like, this is Baseboard. It's not like I'm doing it with high rank builds, it's because there is only high rank here. <laughs> there is no Master Rank. That's the reason. <laughs> No! You piece of trash. How dare you flinching? No! Please flinch, flinch, flinch now, flinch now! No. He didn't want to flinch. Yeah, now you flinch. You flinch now? Nice.
Okay. I never saw a new character, actually. Yeah, this is a new character. I never played base word game on PC. I only played it on PS4. So, I decided to just start a new character on PC in Monster Hunter World. Buona notte. Ouch. Woo! That was really close. What? Oh my goodness, he got me with the shoulder. That's so lame that he can get me with the shoulder. What? Okay. Okay, I guess. <laughs> Wow, so many we got so many raids. Three raids. Crazy.
Ouch. Goodness, I'm always failing. The Jesper is the the handbreaker. <laughs> what? Come on. Just not enraged. How many hunting longsword do you have in total, would you say? Like, with this save, 350, I think, something around that. On my save, like on my main save, I don't know. Over 3k, I think. Buy Trapezio, get wrecked. <laughs> Get wrecked. Oh, let's see. Did we got something? Evasion? Troptal. <laughs> Look at this. This end screen. <laughs> this end scream is crazy the, the chart breeze and my character flying away ah! because I, I jumped and I ended up in the inside a tornado <laughs> Oh, we have an exclamation mark. Let me check that. The captain. I love how they speak. Another question mark? Uh, exclamation mark. Uh, there's another one over there. Ah, right. That's the commander, I think. 
No, not the commander, the admiral. That's the admiral, yeah. It's so crazy, every time I think about Monster Hunter World, how this started, like, we already reached 6th generation with Monster Hunter Wilds, it's around the corner, and World is the game that started the 5th generation. It looks like it was yesterday, but it was actually like 6, six years ago, even more, 6.5, that's crazy. Fifth generation is coming to an end. And soon it's time for sixth generation, guys. Are you ready for sixth generation? Hehe. <laughs> Hehe, <laughs> sixth generation is gonna be fun. What do you think? <laughs> but yeah, uh, that's it for today, guys. This was my stream on Monster Hunter on Base World. I hope you had fun. And thanks for stopping by, of course. Uh, I wish you a good rest of your day. I'm gonna stream again tomorrow, same time, 9 p.m. 9 p.m. my, like, 9 p.m. my my time zone, which is GMT plus 2 or UTC plus 2. And now we are gonna raid a guy who is actually playing with Longsword um, against Beemoth. So let's go, let's give him some Longsword support. <laughs>